Excellent. Where are we going? I will hit the record button. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's that time of the week again. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, especially Bob. Nice to see you here, Bob. Um, Bob's family as well. This week was going to be Bob edition. But uh, COVID had other ideas. And uh, Bob is too strong now, so it can't take Bob out. So, hope all of you are well. Um, best wishes to family. Uh, all that sort of stuff. All good. I um, hope Bob is strong. Yes, Bob is strong. Definitely Bob. Best of yeah. wishes to Bob and everybody around Bob. Uh, hope everything goes well. Yeah, so, I hope so too. Uh, trying times at the moment, as usual. Um, everybody stay safe and healthy and well and all that sort of stuff. So let's get some general news going on. So, uh, lots of people having fun with other games. Uh, this, it's Christmas time and it's that time of year, so I see a lot of people having fun with the new Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, some people doing the new world thing. Uh, there's a new falls around there, I believe, as well. Lots of new stuff out there, lots of exciting things. Um, so... Battlefield as well. I'm ba I'm, just, uh... Yeah, new Battlefield, new war zone, isn't there? There's lots of new stuff at the moment. So, it's shameless plug time. Uh, don't forget your supporter ranks, uh, so your stuff doesn't go poof while you're playing other games. Uh, and of course, always helping to support the servers you play on. We really can't do it without all your support and love out there. So thank you all. You're amazing. And keep it coming in. Uh, right. So this week's general, we've got some new Discord functionality. Um, you will mostly see now at the top of the Discord, there is a new event section. I don't know whether anybody's seen that yet or bothered looking at it, but there's a, a big event section at the top. So there's two events running. Um, I believe people can create events. Is that correct? Or is it just us at the moment? Just us to create events at the moment. But um, if anybody wants to promote any in-game events, uh, boss run, cooperative adventure, by all means, just let us know and we'll pop an event up there or temporarily give you access to create your event. Cool. Uh, it's much easier to see who's going to attend and we'll give a full list of everybody who's um, expressed intentions of going. So it looks actually like it's going to be a good thing. Uh, so keep an eye on the event section. Make sure you hit the invites button for anything that's going on. And then we can coordinate better and see how many people we've got when we do the Apex runs and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, on to more Discord stuff. Hopefully DJ's ready for this one. I've been talking to quite a few of you. And people have expressed some feedback about the voice chat section of Discord, putting in between the game chats and the general information section as well, having you, to, you know, to get really sore fingers scrolling up and down. I won't mention sore fingers, will we, DJ? But um... oh no, no. <laughs> uh, so that said, we would like some opinions on where this gets moved, and we wanted to demonstrate some possible layouts that allow you to see how things look when things are moved in different places. So, uh, DJ, do you fancy demonstrating some this Oh, I do indeed. Positions? So, there's two options that are available to us. Um, the voice chat section can either move to the top or it can move to the bottom. And from uh, all of our intensive research that we've been doing, Communities that make heavy use of voice seem to have it at the top, and the ones that don't have it at the bottom. Um, the biggest request that we got was when voice is really active, it pushes the channels below it down, so you then have to scroll to check on them and then scroll back up again to see what's going on with the other channels, like general and stuff like that. So um, my preferred solution is we move the voice chat channels to the top of the Discord. Um, very simply, we'll just go bum, 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 and it would sit like right there. The issue I see with that is it just pushes everything down, so you still have to scroll down and then scroll back up, see who's in voice. So we'll leave it where it is for the time being at the top. Give us all feedback about it. Let us know if it's a pain in the bottom being there. And then we can try it at the bottom. Should have said that the other way around, really, because at the bottom it'd be a pain at the bottom. But anyway, cool. We're not going to get to see what it looks like at the bottom. 
I, I, oh. I can't contain well, myself. Go, on, go, go, go. The, the thing is, we're all sitting in the round table at the moment, so you can't actually see, like, five, six people sitting in voice chat to see how it affects all the channels. So I'll leave it where it is for the time being, and then we're all going to do some gaming later. People can see how annoying it is or how not annoying it is, and we'll go from there. We're very versatile, Bob, don't worry. Always. Mm. Okay, so we have... Arc stuff to talk about as well. Now, there's there's a few things here. Um, specifically, stuff to do with docs as well. Oh yes. Do you do you want to take it for arc? I will take one for arc. Um, although I don't know. Oh. With the generator, okay. would would you like some notes? There are there are definitely notes. I have notes. Cool. Um. The first thing that we've got is um, we've had a lot of feedback on docs about um, text storage and stuff like that. So dedicated storage in particular, um, and with Ammonite Bile being highly contested between the humans and the docs dinos, um, we're obviously going to remove that requirement for crafting dedicated storage on docs. So the crafting requirements will be significantly, it will be significantly easier to obtain uh, your tech dedicated storage, especially as the engram on docs. Oh, hang on. No, the engram is locked behind uh, boss kill. So we will also be removing the engram requirements as well. So the engrams for docs are going to get a complete overhaul. Um, so they actually scale better with the maximum level. Um, we're going to have stuff unlock. Um, some stuff will unlock without requiring particular dock skills for tech, just the quality of life stuff to help you get around a bit more. Um, the Also, what we're going to do um, when Lost Island comes out, which is now under 30 days. It's 28 days and counting, I believe. Yep. Whoop, whoop. Um, is we're going to tone down the difficulty on docs um, simply because we can see that people like doing activities together, but tribing up and creating tribes of two or three um, doesn't seem to be the preference for our players for docs. So lots of single player tribes who occasionally group up and do some events together. So we're going to bring the difficulty settings down to um, settings that are recommended for one player tribes. Um, will make it easier, but at the same time, it'll allow people to progress when um, their friends aren't around. So you'll be able to do um, bits and bobs around there. Um, also, um, not related to docs, um, we're doing some map cleanup stuff. Um, old structures from old players that have had been supporters in the past. Um, their bases will be disappearing very shortly. We found a little issue due to the way the cleanup works. So anybody that's... Um, uh, well, there are a few players whose bases haven't gone that should have. So that will greatly improve things, especially on the highly built-on maps like uh, Genesis 2. So that, that will all be done as well. Um, the other thing as well for docs, I forgot to mention, the vote rewards will be customized as well. Now, um, to include things like um, kibbles, nukes, um, generally all the consumables that you have to spend a chunk of time working towards. And I was also thinking of throwing in rare, a couple of rare dino rewards like we do for the main cluster. Um, so I would really like to get some feedback from the guys that have played Docs as to, let's not go crazy, but tell me in Docs chat what you would like as a rare reward from Vote Rewards in terms of a dino. It can be anything that we can spawn in. Um, obviously, it's going to be a 1% drop chance, but you know, a little, you help us out by voting. We can help you out by giving you a lovely, shiny little dino to play with. Um, that just about covers it for ARC, unless there's anything I've missed off of there. So. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. That's all I've got. And at the end of at the end of the round table today, we will be doing a little giveaway. Um same format we ran a little while back. It'll be uh React in general to one of my posts. 
and then the person that wins will uh, get to choose a reward from a game we host of their choice. So at the moment, Seven Days or um, Ark, as Minecraft is on a long-term hiatus. Yes. Julia, so there's, there's your Ark news for this week. We'll have more next week. Um, with Seven Days to Die, nothing really massively new. Um, still keeping an eye out for when we can test A20. The fun pimps are keeping their lips permanently sealed at the moment. I think they're putting last touches on. However, from what we can see, they're starting to talk about A21 now as well, which kind of indicates they've stopped putting stuff into A20. So I'm really, really hoping it's not going to be too long now because there's some really cool stuff coming for A20. Um, I had a little bit of feedback from the Darkness Fall server and some of the guys playing there. Uh, seems all the issues with boxes failing to open, lag, and other weirdness that have been going on have been completely resolved with the changes we made a couple of weeks ago. That's that's all good to know. And then on to Rust. So the server trial is now live. You can join from in-game by searching modded servers for Wicked or under Wicked Ninja Games. Or you can add an address, which is rust1.wngplay.com. Um, we can wang that in general, and it's also that information should be in the dojo as well for Rust. We've had several people say they're interested. Um, there are, I believe there's seven people currently with accounts on there. Uh, it's not going to be wiped every four days for now. I'm going to keep the thing up for the whole month. Uh, obviously, there's a forced wipe at the end of the month for Rust, so I'm going to keep the whole thing up. So you've got time to play, test all the building out, all the mechanics um shoot each other a few times see what you're doing um so it's it's going to be running a little bit longer than normal <coughs> um still writing the documentation for that with all the commands so that'll be available soon and kits will be available on launch um we do not need kits to be play testing i've had a few people ask about them now um they are ready but don't really want to be handing those out now i'd like to get some some play testing done without the kits the only thing you really get in the kits is a very quick starter base, as, as there's nobody on there at the moment that's of competitive nature. This, there's no need for them. So get yourselves on the Rust server, let us know what you think. Um, from pew pew, kill some NPCs, kill each other, and generally have fun. Uh, right, so party notes this week. Wanted to reiterate again, DJ just covered it basically, but the voting has had an overhaul recently, so... If you vote for the ARC servers, you can vote on up to three servers a day. Every vote has a chance to win. You can win ARC shot points, experience, muted gel in there, luck potions, short repellent Batman. Um, you've got the Ember Pegasus in there. Night Wyverns are in there, which are the new things from the Aberrant Dinos mod. It's the only place you can get them. Uh, I think there's been three of those dispatched already. Congratulations mm -hmm. to, I believe it was Wrecker, wasn't it? I think so. Um, I would have to check the vote rewards channel. Bear think, with me one moment. I think it was Wrecker, but those are the only place you can get those cool new Night Wyverns. And the Void Worms as well from Genesis 2 are also available. Small drop chance for voting. So keep so voting. We've, we've got Stinky, who has received a Night Wyvern. Right. Not Me has had a Night Wyvern, and Wrecker has had a Night Wyvern. Excellent. So there you go. Rewards are actually being distributed. It's it's totally winnable. And get your fantastic new night wyverns. It's the only place you can get them so far is by voting. All the votes help and that will bring in new players, more people to play with, um, more fun. Um obviously already gone over when we go live with docs, that's also gonna have its own set of rewards, as DJ mentioned. So stuff such as fat boys, other cool stuff, nukes, etc. Yes, nukes, Bob. And nukes? All... Yes, nukes. Nukes. That will be a thing. Vote and get nukes. See, everyone's <laughs> excited for nukes. Look at that. Really, Love really it. Really excited. Uh, so, cool. I think that's all we've got for this week. Has anybody got any questions? Anything they want to know? Anything urgent? we got, we got competition time. We have got competition time. <laughs> <laughs> No questions? Nobody got anything for me? No gift walls? Uh, nothing? I'm looking at general. Yes. Can we get nukes? Yes, yes, you can get nukes in your vote rewards quick. 
but only if you play docks, and it will be easier. Technically, docks is PvP. Sorry, PvE. Oh, so, yes. you know what we... I want the thermonuclear mod for the cluster. <laughs> no. No? No. Bad sand. Oh. No nukes for the main cluster. Um, to answer Zero Ice's question in docs, uh, in the docs thread, um, for anyone that needs access to the docs thread, just tell me in general, um, because it's a super secret one. Um, yes, we will be putting fed shards into docs um, because some things rely on those. And um, I have yet to discuss with Nani, but um, I feel that uh, custom arc shop for docks as well is 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 in order to sell some of the um, more frequently used consumables. Well, not consumables, but stuff that you have to destroy to get something else, or you know, and things like pygmies and stuff like that. So, pygmies on the arc shop. That sounds interesting. Indeed. Um, um, the throne, maybe the throne so, works already maybe. there. It's it's definitely yeah. in place at the moment. So yeah, we just need to know what needs to go on there, and that can hopefully be arranged. Maybe put some summoning shrines on there, kind of like the boss, like we have the boss packs or boss kits for the main cluster, where you can get enough stuff to summon your boss. Okay. Um, Dots has a similar thing where you you build. I don't know what they call them, shrines um, or, or summoning uh, altars or whatever, and you use those to summon in your bosses to kill. So stuff like that but yes we will we will do fed shards to docs that will not be a problem at all oh, good stuff anything else do, 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 do. not to do with nukes please oh we've just had a new member join let's let's say hi as soon as it gives us the wave option let's let's swamp them with kindness <laughs> or just throw them in the swamp <laughs> one of the two uh I want my little wavy thing. Anyways, let's let's go and get on to competition time. Oh, yes. somebody just just dropped from the uh, round table, so uh, they're going to miss out. Um. Oh, there we go. There we go. G give it the waves. Get the waves out of the way first before we do competition time. Otherwise, they're going to get lost yeah, in yeah. waves. It's going to be really simple. I'm going to post a GIF, and can anyone that wants to enter um, react to it with the party blob? Because I love the party blob. Now I've just got to find an appropriate GIF. Ooh. Yes, the party blob. Yes. Yes. Party blob, sorry. We need a park team with Bob. <laughs> Are we going for there Bob edition go. next week then, Bob? And the, the party blob is that one there. So click that button. Oh, that's going up quick. More clicks, more clicks. Oh, it went, went down, down again. Went up. Uh. Oh, it's gone down. It's gone up. It's gone down. Oh, up, down. <laughs> I get the winners from the reactions list, so let's have a look at that list. Oh dear. <laughs> Stop it, damn you. <laughs> let's do the random. How many have we this got? This is then? more fun than the gift wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What about some chat in there as well? Can we spell out Narnia or something? All right, we've got eight. Is that it? Final call. Boom. Number one. Number one goes to Grinner25. So, Grinner, are we seven days or arc? Wait in chat. We are arc. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. Happy nonny noises. Well, we will be over shortly. Let us know when you're online. Or, in fact, even better idea, um, 
drop the coordinates for your base in the dojo for me, please, and we will drop your shiny Unite weapon for you in your Soul Terminal. Oh, and include the map as well. So congratulations to Grinner25, winning one Night Wyvern. Thank you, Brad. Wonderful. Cool. So one Night Wyvern on its way to Grinner.